Uh, we talked about the very, very specific numbers last night, uh, you know, both on the SPYs, right? We talked about that 283 level, right? 283 on the SPYs. We talked about in nausea for the last three days, how important that 272 is. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AxesOfTrader.com uh, nightly update show. Uh, I'm not great at this social media stuff, especially like the YouTube stuff. I know how it works. Um, it, guys, if, if you appreciate the, the, the free content here, again, whether you choose uh, to trade or learn the PS60 theory uh, in the, the webinar, that's up to you. But if you enjoy uh, the free content, and I do this uh, five days a week, including the weekends, um, if you do like the, con uh, the content and you want to see more of it kind of on a day-to-day -day basis, the only thing we ask you do is uh, apparently clicking the like button uh, helps out the channel, supports the channel. So if you like the free content, uh, all we have to do, all we ask is you click that little button or whatever the hell it is called. Uh, and that's it. Go on with your, we go on your day. So let's talk about the market, right? Uh, you know, today was Fed Day. Um, you know, the anticipation was the 75 basis points. Um, so when they raised 75, it really wasn't um, a big startle. Um, but the intent was what's going to happen next. And remember, the, the stock market is all about what's going to happen next. And what happened next was a signal of, hey, we don't know what's going to happen next. So it might be uh, some more uh, rate hikes. And the initial move today was, you know, you saw the move. The Dow went up 300 and then it didn't. And that's the most important point. You know, again, this is violence. We always talk about uh, how a lot of bad things will always happen when everybody's on the same side, especially in the same comments and the same uh, interval looking at the same thing. And the wonderful thing about uh, trading is it's not the day. It's not today that was the most important. It's the vital signs, what happened yesterday, what happened the year, the day before. And we kept, we kept on reiterating the point that, that you know, the NASDAQ just was not rallying, was not participating as all the other indexes uh, all the other indexes, including the Dow, the S&P, and the IWM, and we'll get to them individually in a second, you know, they're above the 50-day moving average. They were moving up with the Honeywells of the world and the IBMs of the world and the, the General Motors and, you know, all these uh, old uh, industrial uh, titans of industry, right? And the problem was the NASDAQ never did it, right? It just never did it. You know, you had, you know, if you go video after video after video, the last three, four videos, we kept on talking about it. I mean, how long, you know, how long can the NASDAQ hold on? How, you know, you know, you had... You know, Meta blow up on earnings, Google, Amazon, right? Microsoft, they all blew up on earnings. The, the constant not, reminder over and over every single day, they kept on going lower. And as much as we had this really violent rally on Friday, and it was because of Apple, and not because Apple didn't have, you know, had the greatest quarter in the world. Apple uh, quarter was okay, right? It was okay. It wasn't special. It wasn't enough to say, hey, the, the economy is great. Everybody come back. The, the water is warm. Uh, jump in. Um it was to the point that like there was a little bit of a, a, a little bit of a pause, a pregnant pause in selling. Uh, a knight came with the shining armor and kind of saved the day. But the biggest problem was what happened after that, right? It, nothing happened. That's the whole point. You had the big rally reversal on Friday, and they just couldn't get through. If you if you remember last night's video, we talked about it. they kept on getting stuck uh, above this, you know, on this 281.70s, 281. 80s uh, level into supply and they couldn't get through. So when we were talking about today in last night's session, we kept on saying, you know, watch, you know, continuation of weakness in Amazon, in Google, right? The stocks that blew up in, in Meta, right? Uh, we talked about the very, very specific numbers last night, uh, you know, both on the SPYs, right? We talked about that 283 level, right? 283 on the SPYs. We talked about in nausea for the last three days, how important that 272, again, all you need to do is go into last night's video, you'll see how important this 272 level, they held it up three times, once, two, three times. The fourth time on the reversal of the Fed was the dagger, was an absolute dagger in the crowd, as you can imagine. Um, you, know, we, we, you know, the pivots were very aggressive today, of course. I mean, I mean how can you not? If, if our concentration continues to be on the downside, Microsoft, Google, right? Uh, Microsoft, Google, uh, Meta, um, Amazon, you know, you, you can imagine it with the first group to get hit is those groups, the stocks are going to um, going to miss their numbers. And, you know, today was a bloodbath. Once, you know, once they came out 
Uh, once they came out and Powell stopped speaking, and again, there's this 30 million sites and publications going to break down the Fed. I'm not one of them. I don't care. Okay, I just, I just really don't care. I, I focus on price action. It's not what he said. It's what the market is saying. The market uh, has spoken today. Uh, not only uh, did the Qs lose a very, very important, really super important level, and you can see how much room you have here, but spies gave back the 50-day moving average, right? We gave back the 50-day moving average that we reclaimed only three days ago. And again, the old adage, at least my adage, is above the 50 is bullish, below the 50 is bearish. Again, spies closing below the 50. Qs continue to trade below the 50, taking out a big massive channel here of 272. Look how much room you have here. You have room here to 259 for the next channel. Look at the IWM, right? And IWM had a great run, okay? Really, really great run on one candle. It took out one, two, three, four, five days of buying. It's still above the five, the 50 day moving average. So the line in the sand for the IWM is gonna be this 177, right? If IWM holds this 177, I guess it'll be okay. If it folds below this 177, well, then it's gonna join uh, the S&P and the NASDAQ. And if you look at the Dow Jones Industrial Average, right? It didn't have this methodical destruction of price action because it had such a big move and it was two weeks removed from the 50 day moving average, but hey, it did lose the five day moving average. It's not panic time yet on the Dow, uh, on the Dow just because it's still above the 10 day moving average. But again, uh, what we saw in the market today, again, it's, it's very, very tough. And I, I wanna speak in terms of technology only, okay? I, I, you know, I'm not a Dow guy. If, if the Dow disappears tomorrow, it's not gonna affect my life. Our, our whole universe, when we talk about the market, is the NASDAQ 100, at least my universe. That's all we do, it's all I trade is NASDAQ 100 names. Um, so the idea that we couldn't rally, the idea that we broke a major, major level here, you know, three, 272, three times it held, right? You, you can, you know, again, it's very, very tough to turn around and go, you know, I really, really like that stock long tomorrow. I really, really like that stock long. Again, look, anything's possible. Like I say every single video, nobody knows for sure what's going to happen. We could only prepare. And again, we were prepared uh, for the downside action today. We're preparing for the downside action tomorrow. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. But again, like I say in every single video, don't at least we have to give ourselves an opportunity to swing in the direction of the momentum. And that's the whole point. And that's kind of what I do every single day when I do my research. When I look at stocks and they're breaking down their channels, I'm not looking for longs. I'm not looking for a diamond in the rough. I'm going with the, you know, with the avalanche. I'm not going against it, right? And that's the most important part, understanding, again, the dynamics of the market could change tomorrow, the next day, three days from now, three weeks from now. But our job is to determine risk versus reward. Reward versus risk in that, you know, in that order and making sure that what we're looking at as a clean path to the goal line has a lot of room, has a big average true range, and we have the high probability that if today's action does confirm tomorrow, we'll get a day two. And that's all we can uh, ask of ourselves. So let's talk about the pivots, guys. And again, uh, if you want to learn uh, pivots, um, you know, it, they're pretty cool, man. They, they really, really are. Uh, you know, we have a ton of people in the webinar. Uh, everybody's an open book. Every, you can feel free to speak to anybody in the webinar. It's it's a really cool thing. But the most important thing is you're, you're building as a trader. You're not building as a person looking for alerts. Alerts are, are, are you know what alerts are? A, a, alerts are, are an alarm clock. When the alarm clock rings at seven in the morning, that's an alert, okay? If you're a trader and you wanna be a trader, you have to define everything. You have to put all the chips in the table and say, look, I wanna do this for a living or I wanna do this for some sort of capacity for a living. I wanna put myself in a situation that I don't need Need anybody nobody needs me right nobody needs me the only thing you need is technical analysis and if you have the prowess of technical analysis and you feel comfortable the way channels confirm whether to the upside to the downside then you're taking a really really great step to being a professional trader if not again you know it's very very tough to kind of make hay if you're relying on others to kind of give you uh you know the alerts and all that nonsense uh, that social media brings. So that's it. It's kind of my little spiel there. So let's talk about uh, the pivots for today. Uh, again, as, as you can imagine, you know, really, really great stuff. Yesterday, uh, Amazon had a great move, phenomenal move. We, we talk about those earnings lows plays. They're just great. Absolutely great. Uh, today, 96 needs to confirm for more selling pressure. You know, as you can imagine, there was some selling pressure. Great move. I mean, absolutely great move. Here's the one oh one hundred dollars and seventy four cents. Here's the ninety six. The stock traded all the way down to ninety two. Just an absolute phenomenal move on Amazon. Google, same thing. It broke down uh, yesterday in ninety three ninety eight. 
today confirmed 9037. You know, they were coming non-stop for these puts all day, guys. All day they're coming for these puts. Look at look at you know, look at Google. There's a shot Google gets down to 83. Just absolute destruction. Microsoft, phenomenal move. Absolutely phenomenal. 231 held twice. That was yesterday. Today confirmed 227.30. Needs to confirm the more selling. It went down to 220 to the lower band. Uh, Wolf. Remember Wolf we were talking about last night, right? Not a name that I usually would trade. I traded it today. Just small signs, but I traded it today. 76.60 if it builds below, can flush, broke earnings low. This is the key. The breaking the earnings low, that is your momentum. Here was Wolf. Right here was Wolf, you know, destruction, right? Absolute destruction on Wolf. Um, Series satellite, you know, I, I didn't even look at it. I couldn't care less about this thing, but let me see what it did. Uh, $6 if it builds, it can break. I don't know. Did I, did anybody even trade this thing today? Probably not. Uh, Siri, yeah, what a waste of time. Siri held six again, uh, blah, 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 blah. Spies again, here's the big number on spies, 383. We talked about it last night in the video. If it builds below, can flush. Here is spies, absolute destruction. Took out the 83, 10, almost 10 point move on spies. Netflix again broke down yesterday, 89.50, 286. If it builds below, can flush more off the 10 day. Here is Netflix, right? Here is Netflix. Took out the 86, went you know went down uh, 13. I mean, really really big move there. Again, it's just one after another after another. Uh, Gilead had a nice little spike into the Fed, but who gives a shit about that? Uh, Meta 93.50 stock is at 90 uh, is at 90 right now. Uh, Nvidia actually had a nice spike this morning on AMD. It went from 39 uh, and a quarter only to 41 and change. But here it is. You thought I was going to forget this guy? You thought I we were going to forget you? We didn't forget you. Matter of fact, we're just getting started, right? Tesla 222 support held twice. If it builds below, can flush. Here is Tesla, right? So it took out the 22, but more important, it took out today, it took out the range from 1028, right? If tomorrow Tesla confirms, we have room to 208 and then 206. So we have a lot of things on top for tomorrow, a lot of good looking charts. All you gotta do, you know, all you gotta do is go through the NASDAQ 100. You'll see a lot of names. Let me just give you guys a couple of names. Tulo, I really like a lot, looks great. CRM, looks like death. Right, CRM looks like death. Snow Bunny playing in the snow. Look at the channel here, might flop. Uh, Tesla obviously uh, amongst it. So that's it guys, so that's uh, that's where we are. So again guys, if you like the free content and you wanna join us in the webinar, God bless, there's a trial there for 30 days. But if not, if you can like, the, like, the, uh, like uh, if you like what we're doing, hit that like button. I know it sounds cheesy saying it, but that's apparently the way the channel is going to be helped and it helped us out and we can hopefully help you out as well. Guys, have a great night. God bless. And I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.